up everyone and welcome to what is my most requested video on this channel and that is a collection tour. I've already got it filmed and it's not the greatest, it's a bit rough but hey you'll get the gist. Sadly not everything I own is up in shelves and stuff, it is a bit messy and a lot of my stuff is still packed away. As I do focus more on the reviews as opposed to like putting that stuff up on display, I should focus more on it, I plan to. I guess that's what updates will be for if I ever get it looking better. I'll make another video. But anyway, like I said, this is my most requested video, so I want to give it to you guys as a thank you for 30,000 subscribers and nearly 4 million views, which to me is insane. And as long as you guys keep watching my videos, I'm going to keep making them. So here's the collection tour. Enjoy. And there it is. That's pretty much everything bar the majority of my master grades, which are still put away in a big cardboard box and a few other figures I haven't gotten around to putting up yet. But this is pretty much it. Let's check it out. So let's start with this cabinet here. And mainly what's in here is Figma and master grades. Actually, I think that's all that's in here. And let's start at the top. Up at the top left there, that's a calendar I got at Winter Wonder Festival, I think. So that's a Nendoroid calendar. Next to that is Figma Ninja Slayer. Not a whole lot to say about that one. If there's any story behind the figures, I'll say them, but that one I just pretty much bought off Amazon. Mari there from Evangelion. She I got in Tokyo, in Akihabara, I think. About 1,500 yen in K-books, maybe? So that was one of those kind of bargain figures, pre-owned, I think. Over there, then, is a Zaku head clock. That's missing the antenna, and I'm not sure if it works anymore. And above that is the Revoltech Alien. Usually I'm not a big fan of Revoltechs and don't get them, but when it was the Alien, I had to. I just had to get that one. To the right then there we have Figma Iron Man, and this is the exclusive version, the special version with extra parts on the back there. I think the normal one came with the effect parts there, but it's a pretty good Figma. I like it a lot. Way too overpriced though, but it is pretty sweet. Then next to that is Marida, if I remember correctly, and she is from Gundam Unicorn. This one I actually won in an in-store lottery in the 7-Eleven. So that was pretty cool, so that's why that one's up there. Next, then, is the Sepang version of Miku. I should mention if I've done reviews of these ones. This one I have done a review of. I think I've done a review of Ninja Slayer. I'm pretty sure I have. Again, another pretty cool figure. I know some people have problems with it, but mine is perfectly fine. Moving down now to the top shelf here, and it's all Master Grade Gundams of main Gundams from series. These are some of my favorite main Gundams. Model kits, that is, not necessarily the series. And first here we've got Age 1 Normal, which is a really, really nice Master Grade. I really have to say I love those vents. This is something I thought at Seymour in some Master Grades, but sadly they never did it again, not even in Age 2. Next to that then is the granddaddy of all Gundams, the Oryx 78-2. This is the 3.0 version, so you can see in there it has some insane detail. You'll probably notice all of these. Pretty much all of these are straight build with no decals, nothing like that. And not many of them really have panel lining either. I just tend to just straight build them. And moving along, anyway, we've got Gundam XCF from Gundam 00 as well as 007 Sword. 7 Sword there is the Gundam that really got me heavily into Master Grade Gunpla. I just loved it so much that I just kept buying, kept buying after that. There's been a few that kind of nearly put me off after that, but definitely if you don't collect Master Grades, if you're looking at this for anime figures, well, I would recommend giving one a try. Next up then, we have the Wing Gundam Proto Zero, which is the one I gave number one in my top five Master Grades for beginners. Definitely an awesome kit if you're starting out. It's really simple, solid, and it's a lot of fun to build. Beside that then is the Strike version remaster. Also was on that list, and so was Gundam X here. I will point out though, in that video, I broke off his backpack just at the very end. If you watch the video, you'll see at the end it's not attached or it's propped somewhere or something like that because it just snapped right off while I was finishing it off. And moving quickly onto shelf number two and we've got some Figma. First up there is Figma Shimakaze from Kantai Collection as well as the Fig Fix version. Next is Akuma Homura from Madoka Magica. Figma cleaning version and this I got at Wonder Festival. It's kind of a bit of a tradition that I will pick up the exclusives at Wonder Festival but the last time I went it just had some Idol Master ones and I didn't bother. That was a bit sad. Next down here we have the Figma Archetype Next She, the clear version that came with the book. I also did a review of that. I think I've done a review of all of those as well. And there is one that I really don't know the name of. It's from Excel World, but I bought this on a whim. It was in the Kotobukiya shop in Akihabara. Maybe a thousand yen as well, so I kind of just bought it to fill in the collection. But I only got maybe one or two episodes into Excel World. I've got Silver Crow, is it, down here? At least his name I know, but this one, I've totally forgotten. Behind her then is the Berserk Figma, and Berserk is one of my favorite anime and manga of all time. I love it. So that's why I have all of these here. First there is Griffith, and this one I got in a kind of odd fashion. It was new in box, but missing the box, so it was just in the clear plastic, so that one was cheap. There is Casca, I just bought her straight up. There is the Black Swordsman version of Guts, which is pretty expensive now. When I got it, it was maybe three years ago in Osaka. 
and I think it was only 2,500 yen. This may have been my first ever fig one, I think it was. And since then I've broken that arm off and that foot off, so neither of those could move anymore. Next we have the Golden Age version of Gux. This was just a standard buy, nothing interesting behind that one. Again, I've reviewed that one. I'm pretty sure I've reviewed Casca as well, and of course, the Berserker Armor one. Kinda give that a bit of a half-assed review, I think a long time ago. Maybe one of my first ever Figma reviews. I think this one and Yui down there were the first two. So funnily enough, that Gux right there was my first ever Figma. And this is the one that totally won me over, completely won me over. And that glass could really do the cleaning here, let's get that out of the way. And yeah, if you were to ask me what is my favorite Figma of all time, I would be hard pressed not to say this one. I love Berserk, I love the Berserker armor, and this is such an awesomely made figure. Again, I think it is really, really expensive now. This one I happened to buy the day it came out, so I got it for 8,000 yen. But I did forget it that night in karaoke because I got way too drunk. But I got it back in the morning, so that's pretty good. And let's move down to the next one. And down here I have a bit of a gunfight going. Not enough Figma come with guns. I guess you can buy the little armory sets to make up for that. But then again, I just think all Figma should come with guns. So let's start from over here. And here we get to another character I've completely forgotten the name of. I know she's from Mob Love, and I know she was an SP Figma, but I don't recall the name at all. Back there is Indiana Jones, probably one of the worst looking Figma there is. That face just looks awful. And also just seemed like a really random choice, but anyway. Next is the Winter Wonder Festival exclusive Snow Miku. And this I actually queued up for two hours at Wonder Festival just for it to sell out moments in advance of me getting to the counter. That was really sickening. Next, there is Figma Samus back there with that cool effect part. The Major, if I remember correctly, Sakamichi Onoda. I've never watched this anime, I really just did pick it up because I'm totally addicted to Figma. So there's a few of them here that I'm going to be the same way about. I'm going to be like, I never watched the anime, so I don't really know the character that well. There's the Figma Zombie, something I really meant to get around to reviewing, but never did. What a cool concept for a Figma. Next is Okabe Rintaro from Stein's Gate, Okarin. Amy from Gargantua on the Virtuous Planet. Another Mob Love character, I don't know her name, again a random buy. There is Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid 2. The Family Mart exclusive Hatsune Miku in the school uniform. Robocop, which I actually just picked up a couple of days ago, not even a week ago I don't think. As well as Kiritsugu back there from Fate Zero. Moving down to the next shelf and then we've got the Unicorn Gundam, the Master Grade version that came with the cage, the MS cage if I remember correctly. Besides that then is the Master Grade Sinanju Stein or Stein, depending on how you like to say it. To the right, that is the Master Grade High New Gundam Verka. Again, probably one of my most favorite Gundams. I've done nothing but straight build it, as you can see, but still, it looks sick. Next to that, then, is the regular version of Sinanju, and any semi-series modeler is probably gonna go nuts at me. I haven't even put on the gold part. As I hate stickers, I've always meant to get around to actually painting these parts, but I just never did. It got put on the long finger and then just never happened. This does look a bit shitty, but I do plan to get back to it at some point. Just not anytime soon. Next to that then is the Sazabi Verka, one of the greatest Master Grades ever. It is such an awesomely designed kit. It's so cool. If you really want the best that Gunpla has to offer, then this is it right here. Moving down to the next segment, and it all gets a little bit dusty down here, but we've got Silver Crow from Excel World, Love Machine there from Summer Wars, a really cool Figma. Honda, if I remember correctly, from Horizon on the Middle of Nowhere, Nagisa from the third Madoka Magica movie, and another character who I have absolutely no idea what her name is. Again, a random buy because it was super cheap, a thousand yen again, I think. I watched one episode from the anime she was from, and it was a bit the same as everything else, so I kind of just didn't continue on. Next then is Figma Spider-Man, Figma Captain America, as well as Captain... Captain Thor, Figma Thor, and in there is White Rock Shooter. Moving down one more time, it's getting a bit dark, so let's brighten that up. And we've both versions of Kurisu from Stein's Gate, as well as Guyver here. Probably the most fucked up Figma I've ever gotten. Really shitty paint like you can see here, the chest part was falling apart, completely the wrong color. It was absolutely all over the place, which was a shame because I was really, really looking forward to this one. Next and from Hunter Hunter is Kurapika, as well as Gon, Kanu from Ikitosin, Shinon and Kirito from Sword Art Online 2, as well as Asuna and Kirito from the original Sword Art Online. And down to yet another shelf, and here we have the Aegis Gundam, 
which was my first ever video. I watched it recently and man, man it is shit. It's a really shit review. But what isn't shit is the seed model kits which are awesome like the Buster there and the Blitz. The Jewel Gundam came out just before I started the channel so I missed it and just never got around to getting it again. Beside that then is Figma Lucina, again another awesome Figma. This one here from Queen's Gate I think, I have no idea what her name is. This, again, was another impulse buy, cheap, maybe 1,500 yen in a bargain bin. Brand new, so that's not too bad. And beside that, then, is Figma Link. And beside that, then, is two more Master Grades, Death Side and Heavy Arms. Definitely two more awesome Master Grades I'd recommend. Death Side is hella simple. If I didn't have a wing one already on the Beginner's Guide, I would have probably put him on there. Heavy Arms, not so much, because that Gatling gun can be a bit of a headache. So now, moving to the last section of this cabinet, and in here we've got the Master Grade Gira Doga. Master Grade Jinx, Figma Nanoha, Figma Crystal Boy and Cobra, Figma Kaito, and I've just noticed this could really do with a dusting. Anyway, as I was saying, Figma Kaito, Master Grade Jesta, Master Grade Infinite Justice, and this character from Vivid Red Operation whose name I can't remember off the top of my head. So that is it for in there. Moving now on to the middle section, and up on here we have the Attack on Time Figma, Mikasa, Levi, Aaron and Armin up there, who was a Winter Wonder Festival exclusive, like I said, came out the same time as Snowmiku here. Except he was in stock when I got to the counter, so at least I got something that time. Good old Figo Arts Goku, who doesn't have a base, so he's pretty much just sitting there. Down from that then is Figma Cosmos from Xenosaga. Yui from Mov Love Alternate, I think. Tosaku Rin from Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. And then back there is Telos, also from Xenosaga. Down to the next one, and we've got different versions of Saber, the Wonder Festival exclusive dress version, Saber 2.0, as well as Saber Extra. And down from that then we've got some more Figma, Figma Archer in the front there, Atura Formar, Hatsune Miku 2.0 with the broken neck, and Mizuhara something or other from something I can't remember back there. And of course, not forget the Nendoroid Colossal Titan there in the front, I don't know what happened to the Figma one, but it seems like it might not be happening. And there's the playset. And speaking of Attack on Titan, here is the Good Smile Company Mikasa Ackerman with the EX base. And beside that then is the Gecko Bubblehead Nurse from Silent Hill 2. And what I didn't realize when I bought this, I bought this at Wonder Festival. And the guy I bought it from was the actual sculptor, but I didn't know at the time. Behind that then is the Seven Deadly Sims Leviathan, or Envy as it says there. And this is the alternate color variant. Down there is Piccolo, and again he's just like Goku up here and has no base so he's kind of just propped against the side. Over some more we've got Super Pochico. Down here is a version of the Nendoroid Snowmiku, the Snowbell version. SH Figo Arts Michael Jackson, Nendoroid Elsa from Frozen, beside that then I think a Van Presto, maybe Van Presto, but it's definitely a prize figure version of Shitsu from Code Geass. In behind her then are some Persona Figmas and we've got Aegis. You and Metis. Above that then is Figma Satsuki and Figma Ryuko from Kill la Kill. In there Figma Madoka as well as Figma Mami from Madoka Magica. And in there then is Figma Sakura. Up one more and we've got some Black Rock Shooter Figma. Both versions of Dead Master, the animation one and the OVA one. And of course Chariot there in the front. Up here we've got the OVA version of Black Rock Shooter. The animation version of Strength, her hands up there in the back. And there, attached to the wall, is Black Rock Shooter Beast, which I got for 500 yen. So now I'm moving down from there, and I'm really gonna hurry up from here because I'm burning through cards and battery. This is taking me a lot longer than I thought it would. A lot of the stuff from here on is gonna be a mix of my figures as well as my wife's figures, so if I don't know what they are, don't be surprised. That would just mean it wasn't me who bought them. But anyway, first up here is, I think, Blue Rose. I'm pretty sure that's what it says on the base, and she's from Tiger and Bunny. And if I remember correctly, this is at Chibi Arts. Over from that then is the Ryuko Nendoroid. Next to that is the Gact Nendoroid, Gactpo or Gactpoid. I think. Back there is Mayuri from Stein's Gate as well as this, which I'm not sure if it's a chibi arts or what again, and this is Perhona? Yeah, it says it there on the base. Perhona and she is from One Piece, if I remember right. In the back there and kind hard to see with the black on black is the Good Smile Company Ray Class, I think. No, wait, it's Woe Class. And I unboxed that one so you can check that one out. Everything else here, I don't think so. Here is another figure, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a Kotobukiya figure. And this is Nanoha again. Down another shelf then, and we've got both 
Revoltech Monster Hunter figures there. A huge fan of Monster Hunter. I've kind of dropped off lately as it's always the same. But man, I sunk a lot of hours into that game series. Besides that then is Kill a Kill Satsuki, the Nendoroid version. And behind that then is the Gatekeeper Alice, I think from... What's it called again? Queen's Gate? As you can tell from my uncertainty there, that one also is in mine. On to the next shelf then, and sadly I seem to have run out of sunlight. And what we have here is a Ludra by Alpha Max, the second version of Shizuo by Alter, and Aquamarine's awesome take on Shinon from Sword Art Online 2. Down here in the dark and with terrible placement considering she's looking just right at the ground, is Fat Company Ryuko, Fat Company Satsuki, as well as Sebastian by Kotobukiya. And I really need to get a better shelf for these, this is a terrible placement. And pretty much everything here on the right hand side belongs to my wife, so I may or may not know the name of everything, so I'm gonna run through it quite quickly. So what we've got up here is this cat girl, I think Tandem Twin comes to mind? But then again, I'm not sure. And then there's the Brave Act Levi. This was the one that came with the cleaning parts. This really big scale nymph, and I'm not sure what company this is by. Some doll of some description, I think, maybe Pulkra, I'm not sure. An Angry Bird, the real action hero's IG. Another thing that looks like this one, I'm gonna guess Tandem Twin again. And an old school Godzilla. Actually, on second thought, maybe not so old school. Some more stuff down on this shelf here. I see a Saber Extra. I have no idea who that is. I think that's Misaki May back there in the back from another, a bunch of Yokos, a Race Queen Konata back there, a Mickey Mouse which looks like it has rabies, as well as these small Attack on Titan figures. I think these came with coffee and seriously, just check out those faces. Next over here we've got some JoJo's figures and this will be straight my knowledge a little bit, I think that's Joseph Joestar. Vanilla Ice, of course Dio, I see Star Platinum in there at the back, there we have The World, I think, and back there is Crazy Diamond, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's their names. Next down here we've got a whole bunch of Super Sonicals, I'm not gonna go through them individually, we've got a Super Pochko there as well. On to the next one, and in here we've got some Miku, I see a Kirino back there, the Figuart Art Sailor Moon, Figma Ranko from Idolmaster, this character from Horizon on the Middle of Nowhere, completely forgot her name, another nymph back there, a Bome figure, I'm running out of card space so I'm really gonna have to speed up, two Figma Pyramid Heads cause you just can't have one, the B Shoujo Freddy back there in that super dark corner, Alpha Max Sorceress from Dragon's Crown, and there is Jason, we've got an IV over here, more Bome figures as well as some things I've no idea what they are, a prize figure of Rika from Chunibyo, as well as an Ashka from Evangelion, down one more we've got a bunch of Higurashi no Koroni prize figures, a prize figure of Grell from Black Butler, the further I go down keeps getting darker and darker, this needs to be lit up a lot better. But anyway, we've got a Hakufu as well as two Ryomos, and they're from Ikitosen, Battle Vixens, Zoro from One Piece, as well as Guts from Berserk, and it gets a little more random and a lot more darker down here, as well as in here as well. Oh wait a minute, over here we've got a big Laguna Loire from Final Fantasy VII, and a Furby. A dead Furby. So that's pretty much it for this room. I've got some stuff in the room I record in, so we'll go take a look at that. And here's the last of the stuff that hasn't quite found a home yet. Most of this I've just reviewed in the last couple of months, and there's just been no space on any of my shelves. I probably should stop buying figures and buy some shelves for a change. So what we've got here is Kantai Collection's Battleship Princess, and that is a prize figure. And behind that then is the first Made in Japan Figma, and that's the Figma Horse. That Miku bike with the decals on it. And in a bit further there we've got the Revo Tech Venom Snake as well as Solid Snake. They're the Revo Minis actually. Behind them the SH Figure Arts Card Capture Sakura. Probably the second biggest letdown I've ever bought, the AGP Yamato which absolutely sucks. Beside that then is the AGP Musashi and that's a little bit better. Actually quite a bit better. Next is the new Iron Blooded Orphans High Grades, there's both versions of the Greys as well as Barbatos itself. In front of him there we've got some Figma accessories, Renzo Ho-chan and I've totally forgotten what this one's called. Yeah I have completely forgotten its name but it is the first witch from Madoka Magica. In behind there we've got an android Yamato with all her kick-ass accessories and like I mentioned over here the AGP Yamato was the second biggest disappointment I've ever spent my money on. Here's number one back here and that is the 3-0 Commander Shepard. Totally, totally not worth the price but annoyingly as I love Mass Effect so much I really can't part ways with it, which really, really irritates me. Over from that then, we've got the new Senketsu Kisaragi version of Ryuko from Kill a Kill, and this is by Good Smile Company, and one of the best figures I have ever seen. It is killer. It's so good. Down from that, Snow Miku Snowbell version, some Kantai Collection Figma, and there we've got Amatsukaze, 
Nagato, and over here we've got Mutsu, the Kotobukiya Eren Yeager Titan, Mega House Luffy and Law back there, Play Arts Kai Cloud, and finally on the extreme right here we've got Figma Makoto and Haruka from Free. And that about does it for the collection tour. As I said, it's a bit messy, a bit all over the place. I need to get a lot more shelves, I need to get my master grades out. So sometime in the future, I will be doing an update video. But in the meantime, as usual, thank you very much for watching. And as always, make sure to come back for more anime figure reviews and Gunpla reviews. See you next time.